So each week we've asked you, are you using AI and how much and which tools and how much has it saved you? And now you're going to actually get to see uh, what we've been waiting for, which is from session one to session six, the evolution of your usage of these tools. Um, and we're going to keep measuring this as kind of the primary ROI is we want you to use these tools and have it save you time and make you money. So um, what you'll see from session one to session six is that that gray bar, which is not using AI at all, is shrinking dramatically, while the frequency of use uh, for business and personal uh, is growing. And so you can see that uh, gosh, nearly more than two thirds of you are now regularly using uh, AI for both business and personal use. Um, what we're also seeing is that you're increasing the frequency of usage, um, that 10 plus category, that um, kind of light purple and the six to 10, the darker purple um, has really grown a lot to the point where um, more than half of you are now using chat GPT six plus times a week. Um, in terms of which tools you're using, it started out where you were heavy chat GPT users and you still are very heavy chat GPT users, but you're now folding in other tools, uh, especially ones for AI for images, AIs for search and AI for video. Um, you can see that the AI for video, it, it remains kind of the, the edge case for many of you. And I, I know that that's a harder set of tools to use, but what we really like is just the increase in usage of these tools inspired by these sessions. And then finally, uh, my favorite stat, which is how much money are you making or saving? And you'll see that none of you reported at the beginning saving tens of thousands of dollars, except for the three of us, uh, Jeff, Nicole, and I. But now we see that 2% of you are reporting that, 7% of you are in the thousands, and 19% of you are in the hundreds. And overall, uh, exactly, uh, from eight and 10 of you not making, saving any money, now it's to seven and 10 of you. Um, and we, I actually did a very, very rough calculation. This is, um, this is kind of not scientific, but whatever. Uh, I basically took, um, the number of people uh, who've attended all of the sessions, and then I divided it by the number of people in session six who reported using, uh, you know, saving in, the, in these amounts of money. And we came to a very rough number, which I actually think maybe even an underestimate, uh, which is that the average person who joined one of these sessions is, has saved more than $5,000 just by showing up, getting inspired and doing the homework. And what's so exciting as a marketer is we understand that we're kind of talking at you a little bit. You know, when you have hundreds of people attending a session, you can't do that one-on-one -on -one implementation. And we've heard loud and clear that that's really what you want. And we're going to talk about that as kind of what our next steps will be. But it's really gratifying, uh, you know, in real time, seeing you guys saving thousands of dollars on average. Um, and that is the potential of this tool, what these tools when used well. So kudos to you guys for coming here, showing up, dedicating yourselves to finding out how to use them in your business, and then actually implementing them to save time and make money. And uh, Jeff and Nicole, before we move on, I mean, this is sort of our money shot. This is this is sort of the, the moment where we get to see the actual fruits of this hard work. I would love for you to just kind of react to to that number and 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 just the work that we're doing together to try to help these companies uh, and these participants save time and money. It's amazing. I, I it's very gratifying to me to see that this is actually useful in helping people's businesses in a very real way. And I think I would just encourage, if you're still in that seventy percent, to to think very carefully about how you can improve your processes. Because I do believe that every company, even if it's not producing imagery or content, can use these tools to streamline and make things more efficient. So it's an awesome start. It's it's very gratifying to see. And I would just encourage everybody to not stop when these lectures are over and, and keep pursuing that. Yeah, I would agree. And to go back and re-watch whatever you think would be most relevant for you, um, save the links, review the links. But I mean, 
the amount of time that we've saved and for me being engaged in this course and going kind of refining things every week as we go um, has really helped our team too. And um, gotten everybody on the same page about what tools we want to use. And um, so I appreciate that. Like personally, that number is so much higher <laughs> and it could be for everybody too. I think everyone in here could get the value of an employee for the year, you know? And so when we see this over, if we asked everybody a year from now, I think it'd be closer to 30,000 on average, because if you took a an employee's wages, even at the lowest level, then um, I think you're going to save that in the amount of work you're able to do. Um, it's and it's going to who knows in a year, it could be even more because things are changing so fast. Yeah, and yeah I think absolutely. One, one other thing that, that Mark actually said in our chat when we were talking about who used Jasper is he said that he hasn't personally used it, but his team is using it. And I actually think that's a great response because one of the things that I think we find as business owners is when these new technologies come around, it's fairly overwhelming and time consuming to get your head around them, to understand them, to play with them, to run into the brick walls that you hit when you're trying to use mid journey or you're experimenting with GPT for the first time. So, so I think one word of encouragement I, I would give is one, take a, take a, take a page out of Mark's book, which is culturally get your team interested in these things so that you're not the lone innovator in your organization trying to explore these things. And then the other encouragement I would give you is just like Nicole said, I mean, she spent years and years really wrestling with these tools to get the value out of them and now making tons of money doing that. So, so I would just encourage you to also to, to power through the hump. It's new technology. You're going to hit roadblocks. It's going to be something you have to practice and get better at, but I can guarantee you there is a pot of gold there. I love it. And I, I want to, I want to make just a quick, I just heard this uh, earlier today and I, I love this, this kind of framing. It's, it's not about doing things right. It's about doing the right things. And this is where strategy comes in. ChatGPT can be an incredible force multiplier, or it can be a terrible rabbit hole. And part of the goal that we have in working with you is helping you identify what is strategic, right? What are the right things that will grow your business? And then how to leverage AI to get there faster, better, and to do more. I, I think AI does have the ability uh, to create a lot of noise. And we're gonna talk about that here in a second uh, about data. And so I'd really encourage you guys to, to think really carefully about how, what you're doing with AI and how it aligns to your bottom line goals, because you do not want to just create more content or work uh, unnecessarily.